Hi everybody, this is Judy Parcell, and I'm not presenting a very good face of myself, but what this is is a Frederick's ca uh, canvas that I've covered with a white garbage bag, and I'm going to be placing a piece of tissue paper with gold stars on it, on top of it, and I'm going to be drenching it in all kinds of fluids, so when that gets drenched it'll be so fragile I can't lift it so I'm going to lift it on this whole piece here and set it aside to dry now this project that I'm doing I'm going to be using acrylic inks and I'm going to use a yellow uh, orange a little bit of magenta and water. I'll be spraying it with water. And then I've got a big bucket of water with a big broad brush in it. I'll show that to you um, that I'll be using. And you'll see how this all comes together. Now this is not an original idea of mine. I first saw it on Elizabeth St. Hilaire's uh, YouTube channel and she called it acrylic inks painting tissue and deli paper well I didn't do the deli paper I just don't know about the deli paper but I have tried this before and I really liked the results and this could be used when you get done with it in decoupaging um, in making greeting cards, just various and sundry projects you might have. But you're just making the textural service, surface now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to scrunch this all up. Wrinkle, 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 wrinkle. And we'll spread it all back out again. And because tissue paper is so fragile, the acrylic inks themselves are going to actually add strength to it after it dries, making it possible to continue on applying stamps or you can do more decoupaging with it, anything, because it'll be much more stable than it would be. So let's get started on this, and I'm going to use spray it with water. Get it stuck to that plastic bag. Ah, yes, ma'am. Now I'm doing this. I notice the tissue paper has stars on both sides, but one side is the positive side for the stars, so I'm going to work on that side. And take one of these colors that I've got, and I'm just going to drop it randomly on the tissue paper come on gets air in the, the thing yeah now, one of the things I found out in doing this is that the darker colors will be predominant and so you don't want to use so much of those I'm going to use a little orange here Still same size as the color wheel. Okay. Come on, let's go back on. All right. And then I'm going to put yellow on here. Now I'm dedicating this video to Ellen, my artist friend, who gave me these inks. I didn't know what I was ever going to do with them, but I took them gratefully because they're extremely expensive to buy, and it was very, very generous of her. Now that I put the colors where I want them, and we want to work this out to the edge, I'm going to spray it a little bit more. And this is where 
the big brush soaked with water comes to play. You just lay the brush on the top. Remember this paper is very fragile. You want to go around. You want to work the color out to the edge of the tissue. I'm going to do all the orange because I want to keep my colors separate as much as possible because as this dries it tends to bleed into the other colors which is okay to a point okay just all the way out to the edge of the you can't see that but trust me that's what I'm doing <laughs> all the way out to the edge of the tissue paper and Then I'm going to swish that clean. Because I don't want to muddy my colors. They're on the same side of the spectrum, but I do want, like, the magenta showing. <laughs> and the yellow showing the more I work with this the better I get at it and you will find that true for yourself Now that, by dabbing it like that, instead of stabbing it, it'll keep the tissue from tearing. There we go. Just dabbing lightly. It's very fragile at this point. So, I want to work that yellow in a little bit better. I can't emphasize enough the importance of doing each color individually. <clears throat> I'll put a little bit more yellow on here. Boop. I don't think you can see that. You know, it's, it's funny, I was looking around at Arteza's website. They sent me an email. Oh, this is our eighth anniversary, and you can get 25% off on all these products. And I'm going to myself, okay, what have they got? And it would launch me off into projects of all kinds that I'd be spending money on that I would never get to. And I found that interesting even though I'm enticed to buy it I decided not to so as we stand right now I am going to show you this okay see how I got it up to the edge all right it's really really quite lovely and um, I'm going to put this to the side you can see the stars. I'm going to set this to the side and let this dry. I wanted to show you 
the result of a couple of other ones I did. This was with red and yellow. Very textured, very pretty. <clears throat> this is when I discovered that the red kind of overdominated the yellow. So <clears throat> I put in less of the darker pigments and more of the lighter ones if I want that to come through more. This is one in green tones with yellow and blues. And I took a marker. I'd been looking at stamps and I decided that was another area. If I'm just going to get stamps for this one project, I'm not getting them. So I said, what could I substitute for that? And I used a Sharpie marker. And then I can go on and I can add other things to this. Like... Um, a gold Sharpie marker, a silver Sharpie marker, and see if I can't add to this. And I just thought a little Zen Doodle would be kind of fun. Now, I don't know how these Sharpie markers are going to work on this, so you're doing this for the first... Oh, very nicely, thank you. They got a little tooth with that, those inks. That's quite nice. And I'll bring this, yeah, you can see that. Okay. So bring that around. And that's an idea. So we could go all over this doing the same thing and embellishing it. Now, I could add glitter to this. I got this at Dollar General and I was amazed at this line of products is called Crafters Closet. They have some amazing things. Now this is, a, I don't know if the glue or what it is, but I just squeeze it out on my finger and I can smear the sparkles around anywhere I want. Yeah, just it's very light. Just carries around very nicely. So. It's such a dark color. I just need something to make it come out. But this is absolutely beautiful. Then you could go in and put like rhinestones in here or pearls. So I have a box. I call it jewelry, but it's really embellishments. And it's full of all kinds of things to add to that. Like autumn leaves. Pearls, rhinestones, pink hearts, you know, there's all kinds of things you could do with that. Now, so you can actually build on this later after you've gotten your drawing and your designs in. So I wanted to share this with you and you can try this out yourself. Um, just remember you've got to put this on a plastic bag with a support behind it because it becomes extremely vulnerable when it becomes wet. But now I've got stars and little stars and I can continue with this. Not sure how the silver would look. Let's do another big spiral here. With the, ooh, the silver comes out quite nice, actually. Do another spiral like that. And it may be another one here. Oh, yeah, you're here. See? Ooh. 
just with a Sharpie silver marker. Mm. That's fun. We could even do a, um, see if it's down here, I'll move it up. I could do a little Zen Doodle down here with a flower. Remember this? Northeast, southwest. And then only I'll just do this a little bit different. Mm -hmm. More like a stamp, you know what I mean? Without buying a stamp. <laughs> Without having to buy the ink pads. There you go. What else could we add to that? We could add white. Now I'm supposed to have a white in here somewhere. Ah, I have one that's open. I'm gonna have to click it a little bit. I'm gonna try white on here. Yeah, that goes on there beautifully. So we can go like this out there. Like this out there. Like this, like this, like this. You could have so much fun. I recommend you put that glue glitter stuff on later. <laughs> it's still wet. That could go, hmm. Just like that. You have so much fun with this. I haven't found a decent white pen yet. Um, not sure why that is, but um, I think I'll turn this around. Do this in black. Anyway, I think you get the idea, and don't be afraid to put a few embellishments on that here and there. Maybe a pearl there, a heart somewhere else, you know, maybe not, maybe just a pearl, maybe just one, you'll know. Anyway, thank you for joining me in my studio, and I hope you'll try this. And you might want to give Elizabeth her um, St. Hilaire a visit on her YouTube channel. Just type it into the search bar and you get it. I have one other color I did. I'll show you before I sign off. And that was in the reds. That turned out absolutely spectacular. Anyway, have fun. I'll talk to you later.